This tutorial will go over how you can use Unity, DepthKit, and your Looking Glass to view holographic real-world video content that you capture yourself. Your Looking Glass display is great for showing 3D content captures for the real world. For capture, we use a tool created by Emmy award-winning company Scatter called DepthKit. And for those of you unfamiliar with Unity, it's a game engine used by developers of all skill levels used to create a wide variety of interactive content ranging from mobile phone games, to large-scale immersive art installations, to holograms. Using DepthKit's plugin and our Holoplay plugin for Unity to play and display DepthKit content gives you the ability to create interactivity, custom effects, and allows you the freedom to build engaging experiences in any way that you choose. For this tutorial, you'll need a depth sensor, we recommend Microsoft's Azure Connect, DepthKit Pro, DepthKit's Unity plugin, Looking Glass's Holoplay plugin for Unity, Unity, and of course your Looking Glass. This tutorial is aimed at those that have at least beginner experience using Unity. Make sure you have DepthKit and Unity pre-installed before you follow the instructions in this tutorial. If you don't have either, please go to depthkit.tv and unity3d.com. Make sure you also download DepthKit's Unity plugin from DepthKit.tv and our Holoplay plugin for Unity from Look.Glass before you get started. Visit Looking Glass Factory's documentation site if you need support understanding how our plugin works, and visit DepthKit's documentation site for more information on their plugin. We went over video capture in great detail in our tutorial, How to Capture Depth Video with DepthKit and View It on a Looking Glass with Depth Media Player. Check out that video to learn how to make your first DepthKit clip and how to quickly view it with Depth Media Player. For this video though, we'll be using Unity, which can give you more creative control in customizing visual effects for your clips. We'll get started with exporting your clip from DepthKit. Export your video as a combined per pixel video in the export dropdown options. Once exported, you can click on the folder icon at the top of the recordings panel to quickly access your files. After export, you'll have a metadata text file, a PNG image, and an MP4 video. The metadata text file and mp4 video are crucial to play in Unity. You'll also need the PNG image to view your video in Unity out of play mode. Now, let's go to Unity. Open up Unity and create a new Unity project. The first thing we'll want to do is import our packages and video files. First, import our Unity plugin. You can either double click on the package in your folder directly and Unity will automatically import them or you can go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. Hit Import again in the Import Unity Package window when prompted. Now, do the same for DepthKit's Unity plugin. Next, import your combined per pixel MP4, the PNG image, and the metadata text file into your Unity project. I'm creating a folder called video to keep things organized, but you can just drag and drop your files into the general asset folder if you want. Next, you'll want to replace the camera. Replace your Unity standard camera with our Holoplay capture camera, found in the prefabs folder of the Holoplay folder in your assets. The Holoplay capture camera is pretty similar to the Unity standard camera. However, the viewing area is depicted by a green box sitting inside of your scene view. When we add our depth kit clip, we want to make sure the clip sits neatly inside of that box so that we can view it in full in the looking glass. It's important to note that whatever you want to be in focus in your looking glass should sit directly in the center of the holoplay capture box. We'll link to our design guideline on scene composition in Unity in the description below. Hit the toggle preview button on the holoplay capture component, or control E, to view the play mode view live in the looking glass. Because we haven't added anything to the scene yet, the view in the looking glass should be black. Now let's create a depth kit clip. Create a depth kit clip in the scene by right clicking on the inspector and selecting depth kit, depth kit clip, and drag in your video, metadata text file, and PNG image into the designated areas in the depth kit clip editor component and video player component. Hit the loop video under the Unity video component if you want your video to continue looping in play mode, which you probably do. 
Because you dragged in a poster image to the depth video, you can see a preview image of it in your scene view in your looking glass. Position and scale the video within the hollow play capture box to your liking and hit play. As you're adjusting your clip, you can also play with spike removal and edge choke in the cleanup filters box in your depth kit clip component. Spike removal sets the maximum size a rendered triangle is displayed. This reduces edge artifacts that appear as a spike along your asset. Triangles whose sizes are higher than this value won't be displayed. An edge choke filters out depth samples that have a brightness lower than this value. This will refine the edge of your asset and should be set after spike removal for best results. Something I like to practice when I use depth kit clips in my scene is adding a background to create shadow. For a quick background, add a plane to your scene and rotate it to sit parallel to your clip. Then, just play with the rotation of the directional light in your scene and see what you like. And voila! You've got a depth kit clip running in your looking glass. Add some custom visual effects, play with the clips in the animator, make a game, the sky's the limit with Unity. If you have any questions, please email us at support at lookingglassfactory.com. And please submit any builds you make in Unity with Depth Capture, either by submitting them to our Made With site, our community platform that hosts creative holographic content, or directly via email. We look forward to seeing what you create.